Okay, so 1238 here, and we are looking to find the equivalent resistance, REQ, the equivalent, meaning equal, and the current, I0, 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 right here. Okay, so we need to take this step by step here. So as you can see, these two here are in parallel. These are in parallel. And these two are also in parallel. These two are also in parallel. So those are in parallel. So let's do these first. So we have one divided by 80 plus one divided by 20 equals one over that combined, the combined resistance there. And we get R is equal to 16 ohms for these two. So 16 ohms. Now for these two, we do the same thing. These are in parallel. So we have one over 12 plus one over six is equal to the equivalent one over R. The so one over 12 plus one over six, and that comes out R is equal to four ohms. So these, that is four ohms, four ohms. Okay, so we have those. So let's redraw this circuit now. So redrawing the circuit, we have our power source, our voltage source, 35 volts. And then it comes over here. And then we have, let's see, we have goes up. And that and one more here. So this resistor here is our 16 ohms. So that's 16. This one here is our four. And then here we have 60, 60 ohms here and 15 and 2.5 here. So this is our circuit and we have 16 and four, these are in series. So we can add those together, 16 plus four is 20, 20 ohms for these two here. Okay, and so if I erase this, let's erase that, and let's put in 20 ohms there. Twenty ohms. Now we have 15, 20, and 60. These are all in parallel. They're all in parallel. So we can add those together, one over 20 plus one over 15 plus one over 60 equals one over R. Combining all three of these, combining all of them, and that comes out to be R is equal to 7.5 ohms. Now let's redraw the circuit. Now this is 7.5, this is 2.5, and we have 35 volts here. So now we have simplified the circuit. These two are in series. So we add them together, 2.5 plus 7.5. So the equivalent resistance, REQ, is 10 ohms. So that is one of the answers to this problem. Let's go back up and take a look. 
So we have found our EQ, and now we want to find I not, this current coming here. So redrawing this circuit, we have plus, minus, and 10 ohms, and 35 volts. So this is our equivalent circuit. So to figure out I not, that's the current here. We use Ohm's law. So remember Ohm's law, V equals IR, which can be written as I equals V divided by R. So we have I naught, which is equal to 35 divided by the resistance, which is 10. So we have I naught is equal to 3. 0.5 amps and that is our other solution to this problem so we have the equivalent resistance and the current going out of the voltage source